Hampton Road Show is trying to help you organize your life. Our organizing was Amy Volk. She's here to help us manage our space. And today we're talking about making the most out of minimal storage and small closets. And you yes. know what, Amy? We all have this problem because even when we have a closet that's a good size, it just somehow becomes smaller when we stick stuff in it. I know, but it's all that stuff we have. <laughs> and honestly, you're right. It doesn't really matter how big your closet is. It's about how much stuff you need to fit into it. Right. So I'm going to give you some really quick tips about small closets, especially if you live in an older home in our mm -hmm. area. The yeah, closets aren't like the new closets. No. So I'm going to give you some quick tips. Never forget the basics of organizing, and that is take everything out first and really purge down to just the stuff you love, even okay. with our kids' That's tough things. in itself. That is, that's a whole nother topic, but even with our kids, like pare it down to what we are absolutely using. Right. And then we're going to start with some things. When you have a small closet, you need to maximize vertical space. So every inch of the wall space, mm -hmm. and a lot of times that uh, space above that top shelf in a closet is dead space. Mm -hmm. Especially you and I aren't super tall people. We can't reach really high. Right. You want to add things to doors and the back of doors, the inside of doors, um, and the sides of okay. walls, things like this. So you've got to be able to close the door. Still got to be able to close it. <laughs> this is actually a rod that I have on the back of my closet door that holds my scarves. It's just a cafe rod from oh, like Target or Walmart neat. and one set of clips. And you can clip your scarves on there. You could clip all kinds of things. You can drape stuff over it. So you could do two or three in a row mm -hmm. on a closet door. And oh, okay. really, you could do belts, all kinds of stuff. Men's ties are great on this. So don't ever forget, like, maximize that vertical space. And simple things like this really, really make a difference. Um, getting all that little tiny stuff off the floor. Right. All or, right. Uh, shelf. What else do we have? This is, a, you've seen these a million times, but this is for shoes. And you hang it in a closet. It's great for that. Mm -hmm. but It's double-sided. It's also great for things like t-shirts, scarves. So you could have two or three of these, especially in a kid's closet that's right. small. Loose items, you're not going to put them on a hanger, but you still need to have them organized. Exactly. So don't forget about that. And of course, a shoe pocket organizer, which I didn't bring, but that always works oh, well. It works well too. Okay. When you're looking at that top shelf, I really recommend to people that they add a second shelf, even mm -hmm. if it's super high, because you can put um, seasonal or uh, you know stuff that you're not wearing very often and mm -hmm. use containers on those shelves. Because mm -hmm. what I see a lot of times is people stack stuff on a closet shelf, but if you have a container, you can grab this whole thing down, get what right. you need, and shove it And in it this back container, you can actually still see what's inside you because still it's, see, it's open and it's like vented, that. which mm -hmm. is I really, really like that. Right. Okay. What do we have over here? This is great container for seasonal stuff. Let's say you mm -hmm. have hats, mittens, scarves, gloves here. Stick them all in there. Stick them all in there. Add a cute label on there, and then this can definitely go on the top shelf uh, of a closet. Mm -hmm. You can have two or three. You can stack these, which is great. Right. And then we have a bunch of hooks, and I know hooks. I use over the door hooks because those yes. are great for. This one mounts well. on the wall, but I love your idea of over the door hooks. Same concept. Mm -hmm. Use those in the inside of a door or on the back wall of a closet or a, like a dead space wall of a closet that mm -hmm. oftentimes has nothing on it, but it's not very big because you, again, can hang purses, hats, uh, all that stuff that you need a space for. Mm -hmm. And then you and I were talking about these are the 3M hooks, the command hooks. And the, this big one holds up to 50 pounds. Right. And it's so, not going to mess up the wall. Especially if you're renting and you have mm -hmm. a small closet, you could add multiple of these. And these are great for jewelry. The small ones are great to hang jewelry on. Mm -hmm. um, also robes, of course. Okay. But diaper bags, backpacks, all for the small closets. And then you can move them around when you need to. All right. So we've got hooks, containers. Yep. Get your closet organized. If you want to get, get in organized. touch with Amy Volk, you can get your life organized. Log on to amyvolk.com. We'll also link you at thehamptonroadshow.com. Thanks for being here, Amy. Yep, thank you.